In the ever-evolving fight against the coronavirus, OHSU joins more than a dozen hospitals now enrolling COVID-19 patients in a phase three clinical trial involving Lamab, a drug developed by Vancouver, Washington-based Cytodyne. Our phase three is the only trial that we know that is focusing on mortality. All other drugs that are getting approved or being approved like Remdesivir or Eli Lilly's drug today, they are for mild to moderate. Ours is for critical and severe, but there's nothing out there for them. Dr. Nader Porhassan is the president and CEO of Cytodyne. He's optimistic that the phase three clinical trials will yield good results. If the result is very strong and the mortality is less, being in a time of pandemic, being there is nothing there for the mortality. Right now, there's no product that impacts the mortality. So we should get approval, emergency use authorization. That would come as no surprise to Samantha Mote, who we introduced you to back in April. I mean, I was fighting to live. I fought tooth and nail to live. The California woman with Portland ties believes Laron Lamab played a key role in her recovery from COVID-19. Mote was taken off the ventilator just hours after her doctor, who happens to be an expert in infectious diseases, administered Laron Lamab. I had Laron Lamab in mind uh, after I heard her case, and I set up the arrangements for her to get it, so, which involves uh, talking to the FDA to get emergency approval for compassionate use. It really gives you the satisfaction. It's beyond anything. Dr. Nader Porhassan hopes more survival stories come from the phase three clinical trials at OHSU and other hospitals across the country. It makes me feel uh, very, very blessed, and we are hoping to be able to get it to the finish line and get some approval. In addition to the phase three clinical trial, Dr. Porhassan says he and his team are working to determine if Laronlamab may be a good treatment for long haulers. They, of course, are people who are suffering from long-term COVID-19 symptoms. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.